hi here i will uh, explain difference between static library and dynamic library this question commonly asked during interview session what is the difference between static and dynamic li library what is the difference be between static linking and dynamic linking so this linking part comes as a fourth step in compilation so compilation pre processing then compilation then assembler then the role of linker comes so that so here we will see what is static linking so say this is a, our program in this program we have called a function one so we are considering this function actually a, a belonging to some other library uh, so we are using a function from another library through static linking so when we compile our program so at the end we get a binary code 0 1 code or we can say object code and say this is the library this is library in the compiled format so that function one function that function also will be there in the compiled format so for better understanding I have denoted that function separately here so this is the code for function one so we have generated object code so at, as a fourth step what linker will do linker will take this object code generate a executable file plus in that executable file it will include the code of function one are you getting uh, the code of function will be included in the finally generated executable file so in case if we have called here five functions so at the end of uh, in our executable file for a definition of those five functions object code of those five five function will be included by the linker this is the static linking the code will be included itself now the issue is here is that now the issue will come if if we are using multiple functions 200 500 thousand so if we are using static linking code of those function will be included in a executable file so what will be the disadvantage size size will be increased the size of exe file will be increased correspondingly as the number of function will increase so this is the first uh, drawback of static linking now there is one more drawback what is that say for example we have used static linking exe file got generated and that exe file we have taken that file a user has taken that file and uh, moved now now say in the library after some time and the organization who published this library they made some changes in the library and they make the, those library available on the internet now the problem is that here the exe file he is carrying in that file the code of the function included is for the old library is from the old library so this exe file will not be having any updation any update updated version of this function in order to include the updated version of that function what we have to do we have to compile this program again with the newly updated library and then it will generate the exe file then that exe file we have to uh, the user will uh, take now the thing is that whenever library got updated our program we need to recompile it every time these libraries are updated so this is the second disadvantage now we will see the another approach of linking that is dynamic so what is dynamic uh, uh, we are taking the same example so say now this time this function in this library and we are saying the linking is 
dynamic so in case of dynamic linking those libraries are already loaded in the memory in case if they are not loaded so at the time of program execution those library will get uploaded uh, sorry loaded in the memory so say for example this library also available in the memory and in that library the function this function the function uh, loaded in memory at this particular address so now what dynamic linker will do uh, dynamic linking uh, using this approach linker will take object code of the file plus they now they will not take this code they will take only the address where this function is available in the memory so what they will do they will include only the address okay so now here the size problem got resolved now as the number of function will increase our executable file size will increase only in fractions uh, because only per function we are including only the address but in case of static linking the entire object code of that function are included in the uh, final executable file so here dynamic linking no size issue there is no problem of size size problem got resolved and the another one uh, if anyone is making any updation in those libraries so what we all all we have to do we will download those library and as those library will be loaded in the memory there is no need to recompile our program because our program our executable file actually having the address of the function so if we if the new library will be loaded in the memory so that at that address now new definition of one function will be available in our program no need to do anything no need to recompile it there is no size issue so dynamic linking we can consider is better than the static linking these are the benefit of dynamic linking so static library in windows you can see if uh, is there any file with dot lib extension this is a static library in linux library with dot a archive this is a static library dynamic library in windows is known as dot dll dynamic link library in linux it is dot so thank you for watching